Hello, and welcome to e-projectmanagers.com. My name is Dora Tarver, and today we're going to focus on how to create a baseline for your project schedule. And um, what we're going to do first is open up a project schedule. Um, and I'm going to just select an existing one that I've already created. And in this example here, um, basically these are some dates. Your schedule would need to have dates in it in order to uh, baseline it. I've put in some example resources. Um, and then once you've created your schedule and you're ready to begin tracking, you can then add a baseline. Now basically a baseline is simply a snapshot of what your project schedule looks like at a particular period of time. So in order to um, create a baseline you will go to your tools menu option and select tracking and then select set baseline. It's literally that simple. We're going to set a baseline and um, this is today's date and I'm going to click on OK. It's going to be for the entire project schedule. So we click on yes. So now this is baseline and in Microsoft Project as you may know you can insert additional columns so if I click on start right click and then select insert column. If I hit the letter B on my keyboard I'll go to the B section and I'll see um, if I scroll down here there's a baseline start here's a baseline finish uh, there are various other baseline fields that you can see here which are also part of the snapshot and um, notice that these repeat there's, there's just the baseline, and then there's baseline one, there's baseline two, etc. for work, budget, cost. It goes on up so you can have multiple baselines if you need them. So we're going to go ahead and just select simply the baseline start. Let me see if I can find that here. Here we go. Baseline start. And um, I'll leave the title as default, so I'm not going to type anything there. Click on OK. So here's the baseline start. And um, personally, I like to put my baseline columns next to the actual column. So I'm going to click on Finish and then uh, right click on this column and select Insert Column. Again, I'm hitting the letter B on my keyboard. So it brings me to the B sections of this list. Scroll down to Baseline Finish and then click on OK. <clears throat> and now I have a Baseline Finish column added into the project schedule as well. So let me just make this a little wider. Now you can see that the dates here in the start column and in the baseline column are the same. Same for the finish and the baseline finish. And that's because, as I said, when you baseline a schedule, you're basically taking a snapshot of the current information in the schedule. So how you'll use this is once you've baselined your schedule then as your project moves forward you can then see what you had originally planned and how that actually changes from the original dates that you had put in here. And there are a number of different ways which you can graphically um, you know track what's happening with your baseline. Um, you know there are variance columns that you can insert into your project schedule. Um, I like to use graphical images so um, if you for example insert a column and I'm going to make this a numeric column and I'm going to call this uh, baseline status. Um, Actually, this the reason why this this appeared with some check marks in it is because I previously created something. I didn't realize I had saved it. Um, let me go ahead and delete this. Normally, when you um, okay, hold on. Let me let me get rid of the uh, the graphic images associated with this. 
I'll just select because uh, I want to build this from scratch so you'll be able to see how to do this. So when you insert a numeric column as I just did, I inserted a numeric column, I selected number two, and then I clicked on OK, and that's how I got this column. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this column by clicking on the title bar, right click on the column, and then select Customize Fields. And in the Customize Fields dialog box, I'm going to select Formula, and I'm going to create a formula that will display information based on the logic that I define here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an if expression and I'm going to I want a, I want my baseline status column to show me a graphical image based on what is happening with the baseline start date and the current start date or the baseline finish date and the current finish date. So I'm using the if function and I'm highlighting expression. I'm going to replace that. So I want that to say if the baseline start is not equal to the start date, I'm going to select date from my list here and excuse my mouse. I'm, I need to get a different mouse here. Okay. So if baseline start is not equal to start, then I'm going to display a certain graphic image. I'm going to put a number one in here for now. I'll show you in a minute how we're going to do this. So if baseline start is not equal to start, then we're going to do do the logic I'm going to put in there for number one. We're going to display the graphic that's going to be associated with number one. And then um, if it's false, I'm going to add another if expression in here. And I'm going to check the baseline finish date. So if the baseline finish is not equal to the finish date, then I'm going to show another graphical image and I'll just put the number 2 here. And then, um, somehow I got an extra T in there. And then if, ne if none of these are true, then I'm going to have a 0. Okay, so start is 1, finish is going to be a 2, and let me get rid of that T in there, and click on OK. And then for graphical indicators, you click on that radio button, I mean, excuse me, uh, command button, select equals, if the value is a 1, that means if the baseline start is not equal to baseline, not equal to the current start, I'm going to display a graphical image and I'm going to use a red minus sign. Likewise, I'm going to continue for if the logic is, if we activate number two, which was if the baseline fi finish was not equal to the current finish, I'm going to make this a red plus sign. And if everything is okay, the value is zero, and I'm going to select an image for that. And let's see, what do I want? I'll use a check, check, which means everything is okay. And click on okay. And then I'm going to click on okay to close this. So right now, the baseline start and the, f and the actual start are the same, and the same for baseline finish and the actual finish. And that's why you see this check, because that's when it's zero, that's when it's fine, and there's no problem. Um, let me actually uh, center these. Okay, so now, as your project moves forward, you don't want to edit the baseline start or finish columns, although you could, but then it would no longer be a baseline. Okay, so just for educational purposes, I'm going to show you 
that if, for example, we had planned for this task to start on December 19th, and it hasn't, and we need to push it out to, let's say, December 26th, because these are all linked here, all these dates changed, but because this this date, December 26th, is after the original baseline date, it's showing the graphical image that we had selected for when the baseline start and the start are not the same. Um, we can always come back in here and uh, remove the predecessor and um, in this case I'm going to put the date if I kept the date as December 27th then you would see it would say it would have a check mark and let's just say we had a different image if the baseline finish was not equal to finish so let me just show you what will happen if I change the finish date right now it says January 3rd and I'm going to move the finish date to January 30th okay and so now my finish date um, and baseline finish don't match. The finish date currently is January 30th. The baseline uh, finish date was January 3rd. And because the baseline dates, the finish dates are not the same, that's why you see this red plus sign here. Um, anyway, by adding a you know, a graphical column and putting a custom field in it, you can easily visually see how your schedule changes. And you can be creative. As you saw when I went into the custom fields, you can select whichever graphical indicator you want to display. You know, uh, there's a lot of different options here by default. So feel free to choose whatever image you want. And, um, you can also, you know, change your logic. My logic is pretty straightforward. If baseline start is not equal start, then I set the number one because this is a numeric column. And else, if the baseline finish is not equal to finish, I have the number two or zero. Since, again, this is a numeric column, I'm using numbers to be able to track the logic in what's happening here. So now I just change that when it's okay, it's a smiley face, when it's not, when the um, start date is not the same as the baseline start, it says it has a minus in it now, and uh, the red square is the image I just selected when the baseline finish and the finish do not match. And again, if I take out the uh, predecessor, um, then I could actually come in here and change the date and now everything is good as you can see my my start date is on schedule nothing has changed so during your project life cycle once you baseline your schedule then you'll be able to go back and see what you had originally planned and how things changed. And this is good for a number of different reasons. Sometimes you'll want to go back and see what you'd originally planned. Uh, that might help you to better plan in the future um, and communicate to others on your team why things have changed. Um, you can have multiple baselines in a project schedule. You can baseline it at you know the initiation phase, baseline it in the planning phase, baseline it, and there are many baseline columns as you saw when I inserted the original column. Um, there are many different baseline columns. There's the basic baseline, as it says, baseline budget, baseline work, baseline cost, baseline direct duration, baseline finish, start, etc. And then there's baseline one and all the fields associated with that. Baseline 2, all the fields 3, 4, it goes on. So you can have many baseline col columns and you can uh, track baselines at various points within a project schedule. So I hope this was helpful and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me. 
Have an excellent day. Thank you.